Hi guys, today I am featuring Vidya Makan. She is joining us from Australia. Merry Christmas to all of you who are joining us today. Vidya, welcome. Hey, Merry Christmas. Thanks so much for having me. So, Vidya is a actor, singer, composer, lyricist. She has multifaceted hats on her head. So, Vidya, <laughs> everybody would love to know about you. Yeah, thanks so much for having me. I've got lots to talk about. So, do you want to tell what exactly do you do as a singer, yeah. as a composer, lyricist, actor? So, Julie and I actually met a couple of years ago when I was acting in a film called The Color of Darkness and that's how we crossed paths and I'm so, so thankful for that. But I'm an actor, singer or composer, lyricist based in Australia. I kind of have two sides of what I do. One side of me is the performer where I act in plays and sing in musicals and sometimes dance when I get paid enough and do that, those types of things where I'm actually performing. And then the other side of what I do is write songs for what he, here in Australia we call musical theatre. In India, pretty much everything that you do is musical theatre in a way, right? Because there's yeah. always music yeah. involved. Whereas here, it's actually a very specific niche because a lot of art that gets made, music is a separate thing to that. So when, it's got, when a story has songs involved, that's a specific thing, what I do. And I, I just love telling stories and whether it's bef between performing or it's like writing it into a song, that's what I love to do. So Vidya, do you want to talk about challenges you face on this career path? Yeah, absolutely. You know, especially working in Australia, the, the field that I'm in is very kind of black and white. And people who look like me with my heritage, we don't really exist or haven't really existed in the canon of film or TV or musical theatre or theatre. Mm -hmm. And so when I graduated from uni and I had just done this film thinking, oh my God, I'm going to, you know, slot right in. I found that I didn't really have a place in the industry. There weren't roles that were written for people that looked like me. And I really struggled with that in the multiculturalism or the lack of representation in, in Australia. Yeah. And so I've had to kind of find my own voice and it's a part of why I write and create my own work to find out who I am, what I want to say, to actually kind of insert myself into the industry. Yeah. So do you have a mentor or somebody you look up to who has helped you along the way, who's been with you through your ups and downs? Yeah, I do. I was really lucky when I first graduated and moved from Brisbane, which is like a smaller main city, to Melbourne, which is a big, big city in Australia. I met a woman named Sonia Suarez. She's also Indian Australian, but she's 15 years older than me. We often get mistaken for each other in foyers, which is crazy because we don't look like each other. <laughs> um, but she's been a great mentor to me. She directed me. She gave me my first leading role in a show last year, which I was nominated for an award, a prestigious award for. She's someone who's sort of seen my talent and what I can do and really champion that. And I also collaborate with her with my writing as well. So both as a performance and a creator, we work together, but she's definitely, I don't think I'd be where I am without her. Fantastic. I know that it is a very challenging profession and you know, because you're also dealing with multiculturalism and you know the biases so do you have any advice to girls who are pursuing similar kind of profession who you can inspire by your wit absolutely and i actually think this advice goes to anyone really if you're someone that, that is a little bit different to what you've seen in the norm what I found is when I started creating my own work, because when I kept getting no, 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 when I started actually taking the initiative to like create my own work, reach out and find the stories, like opportunities just started flooding in. And so I think there's a lot to be said about finding yourself. You don't actually have to answer the question. You don't have to know who you are. But when you start asking the question, it forces you to find things and to create things that you wouldn't otherwise do. Right. So, where do you see yourself in another few years? You know, what's what's your goal? Some of the shows that I'm writing, I would like to have two of them up and running. I'd love to continue performing, but I, I'm working a lot right now in Australia in like trying to change the industry so that we have a more inclusive and diverse industry. So I'd right. like to see an industry that is just 
light years ahead of where we are right now in terms of representation. <laughs> okay. All right. And what keeps you going? Your motivation, your inspiration? That, I think. I think seeing... I, I get messages quite a, quite a lot on Instagram and it really, really touches me, especially when they're young Indian or Sri Lankan girls who've never seen anyone like that who looks like them sing or be a made stage leading performer. So I think it's like looking forward, even people who are a little bit older who messaged me saying, hey, I wanted to do this, but I never had the opportunity. So just the idea of representation and, and moving the industry forward to me, having people feel like they're seen and having voices to be heard is what inspires me. I think that is fantastic and you have a great Christmas ahead and I know that you have a beautiful voice so I would <laughs> love to hear you sing even if it is one line. So this is Christmas, what have you done? Another year over, new one just begun. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you too. So thank you so much for taking our time and being here and if you're watching this channel for the first time we have wonderful girls like Vidya so please do subscribe thank you so much Vidya and you have a lovely Christmas thanks Julia looks I so look up to you and what you do I think you're amazing thank you it's thank, my thank you to be here. thank you